to test League of Women Voters, and I am so glad that you can all join us for this viewing slash discussion party of the Crash Course mm -hmm. Navigating Digital Information Series. As John Green says in today's video, this is a vocational look at navigating digital information. So we're not going to go into the nuts and bolts of how the internet works. Each segment helps us become better evaluators of information and becoming better evaluators in turn helps us fight misinformation and disinformation, which is probably one of the causes for some of the big partisan divides that we're having right now in our country. And as I said, we're recording the program in order to share these tips and discussions with the larger community, including our public schools. So turn your camera off if you don't want your, your picture on there. However, if you don't mind having your picture on there, please leave your picture on because it makes the discussion much more pleasant to see who we're talking with. Programs like this take a lot of helpers. Behind the screen with the slides is Charlie Sorensen, who is our voter services chair. And Dolores Irwin is editing the Zoom recording so that we can archive it on YouTube. Karen Raymond has run public relations for the series. And all of us will be looking at your comments and questions and responding on the Facebook channel. And if everybody wanted um, just to put their location uh, either on their, uh, if you know how to rename yourself on the Zoom screen, that's great. Or just put your name and your location in chat and that would be helpful to know because um, we have people who are signed out from signed in from not just in Washington, but from other states. So what we're going to do is after a few introductory remarks, um, we're going to watch episode two of uh, Crash Course Navigating Digital Information, um, which is about fact checking. What do fact checkers do, professional ones? And then we'll have about 20 minutes to discuss some questions. And uh, just to identify who we are, um, the League of Women Voters have just celebrated our 101st birthday on uh, about a week ago, and our mission has always been about empowering voters and defending democracy. This series and other programs are in service of that mission and, and the vision statement. And the vision statement is really where uh, we're at today. We want every person to have the desire, the right, the knowledge, and the confidence to participate fully in our society. We see digital literacy as a key component to our efforts to build a better democracy through citizen engagement. The Kittitas County League has been here since 1968 and we've been offering candidate forums and other information forums since then. Very briefly, I joined the Clark County League in Vancouver in 2017 and moved to Allensburg in 2019. And my professional and personal background give me a good grounding in research skills. But the first and last thing I wanna say about that is that no amount of training or experience helps me pass on accurate information if I don't check my sources. So it's still personal responsibility, even with habits. I joined social media in 2009, and I'm known by my friends and family as Ms. Fact Checker. So I was thrilled that, I just, that there was this online approachable resource to open to everybody on YouTube through the Crash Course Company. And today we're gonna watch the introduction to the series, not the introduction, we're gonna watch episode two and it's all about fact checking. Before we get there, we're gonna have a discussion question that we're gonna talk about afterwards, but I want you to think about this question as you watch um, the video. And that is, how can I make the internet a more positive force in my life and in the lives of others? And if that's something that you want to uh, answer in chat while you happen to be wanna multitask while watching John Green, although he talks so quickly, I don't know how anybody can do that. But, um, but we're gonna talk about that for the first few minutes when we come back from the video. And now I'm gonna go get that set up. It'll take me a few seconds.